What's going on guys, Asianized White Dragon here. So this is the deck profile for Kyle Kuhn's anti-meta, which, uh, you know, tops, so congratulations to uh, Kyle for topping. So uh, this is his deck profile, and we're going to go over some analysis of his deck. And so uh, let's get started. So we got uh, Black Luster, and then, because, you know, because pretty good card. And then uh, we got DD Warrior Lady, which is another light target. Plus, you know, removing, you know, your opponent's monstrous is always good. And then we got Doom Cal Knight, you know, it's a dark. Uh, pretty darn good, especially if you get to summon him first turn. Uh, very nice card because it says no to tour guide, and then your opponent can't really reborn it, so uh, pretty awesome. And then we got the double veiler, which uh, stops you know another tour guide plays because uh, a lot of people are running tour guide now. And then uh, we got three element here, Neos aliases. Now that works well with Stratos because it's that searchable for him, and then it also works well with Hero Blast because that's your only target and Gemini Spark. So. Uh, Alias, pretty darn good. It has lots of uh, other cards that work well around him. And then we got three False Dinas, because, you know, you have the 3D Prisons as back row. Uh, pretty darn good. And it makes it so your opponent can't really swarm. And if your opponent happens to swarm the field and doesn't finish you off, you can set the Dina. And then if they don't have a Stardust, you can uh, clear their entire field. Pretty darn nice. And then next up, we got the Gores. Uh, you know, the Gores is pretty nice. Stops OTKs. And then we got the Honest, which what quite well because you have a D warrior lady plus all the aliases and honest is overall good and you can set honest 19 defender and that works quite well with thunder king as well because that uh, thunder king first turn is pretty much one of the best plays in Yu-Gi-Oh as long as you can back him up and then uh we got the dark hole the one e call i think you know maybe just if you want needs an alias but uh opening up with stratos is always good um because if they veil it you don't really go minus plus he's still 1800 in general uh pretty darn good and then uh, we got the three Gemini Sparks for the three alias. We got the Heavy, the Reborn, two MSC, three Duality to just try to get, you know, your deck roll on consistently because it doesn't look like you're going to be special summoning that much. It's just BLS and Reborn. And then uh, we got the one Rota, again, to search for Stratos, or you can search for uh, your uh, Neos alias. And then for Traps, we got the three D Prison to protect you. And then... Uh, Two Hero Blasts, which works well with Alias. It's a really good plus, and then it works because it's you know pretty much always trainable as long as your opponent you know has a monster. And then we got the Solemn Judgment, uh, the Solemn Warning, and Trap does shoot. And as far as extra deck, uh, he doesn't really synchro much, but um, you know obviously you have Reborn, so uh, you know you can open up some of those options. Plus, Effect Filler is an is a tuner, so uh, that works very well. And uh, he did side deck super polys, and that's why I just put it here. Um, his side deck wasn't just one super poly, obviously. I just know that he did have super polys in his side deck, and then uh, part of his side deck was to uh, side it into super poly, and then start bringing out you know some monsters. Depending on what his opponent was running, he could uh, bring out the appropriate synchro. Uh, very good. And then uh, I think the only thing that's different is pretty much these. Uh, and then we got the Cataster, the Black Rose, Bryo. Scrap Dragon, Stardust Dragon, Trishla, uh, Utopia, and Roach. As far as uh, what he could have ran in the deck, um, I, th I think that um, his deck is pretty solid, although uh, he doesn't really have any targets for Miracle Fusion. Uh, I mean, he has the, the Alias and the Thunder King, uh, you know, which works quite well. Maybe one Miracle Fusion would have been decent. Uh, he could have done that um, pretty darn uh, good. But as far as traps, um, pretty solid. Uh, nothing really that uh, was too out of the ordinary. And then the uh, Fossil Dyna, very good, just main uh, overall solid card. So uh, thanks for watching guys, but uh, let me know how you guys like this deck, if uh, you guys have any suggestions for it. I thought the overall build was quite solid, um, although I'm not really a big fan of Doom Caliber Knight, just because people can, uh, you know, you're forced to negate it, so you don't really have any options as far as you know, like Quakimir Guardian, which is uh, pretty darn good, but uh, Quakimir Guardian, you have the maintenance cost, so you can't really tech it in every deck. So, uh, this is the deck profile for uh, Kyle Kuhn's uh, anti meta variant. So, congratulations for him for topping. But let me know what you guys think of this deck. If you have you know, any suggestions, throw them in the comment section down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out. Oh, wait, wait, there was one suggestion here. Um, I was very surprised that he didn't play Torrential. That was the. Uh, one card that I think that he should have played because if anyone's, you know, topped before or, you know, at least even in Winamat, whatever, but like, you should know that Torrential is a quite good card. Um, it stops a lot of, you know, OTKs, it stops a lot of big plays, and it's 
Uh, just an overall solid card, but uh, there we go now. Thanks for watching, guys. This time, signing out for reals.